Tonight's installment of our Cost of Care series involves a Denver woman who almost ended up paying a lot of money for a free COVID test. And we say almost because when she received a $2,400 bill in the mail, she didn't lie down and give up. She went to Contact 7's Jacqueline Allen. Looking at her to-do list, I'm going to follow up with my insurance. Anna Martinez wants to check off battling with insurance. I'm going to fight every which way I can. April 28th. I just didn't feel good. She went to this Denver AFC urgent care to get what she thought would be a free COVID-19 test. You thought this is free? Well, that's what I thought. But while she was quarantining at home with the virus. And this is the first claim. She got the claim from her health insurance, Cigna. And I saw the 2408 and 31 cents. I was overwhelmed because I don't make um, my income every month is very low and I'm struggling already financially. And that wasn't the only surprise. The lab that did her COVID test sent this itemized bill, including a full respiratory panel. I got my temperature taken in my car and a nasal swab. The point is, I didn't give permission for anything else but the COVID test. But even after numerous calls, she says no one was listening. So she reached out to Contact 7. We found out, well, listen to Adam Fox with the Colorado Consumer Health Initiative. So should people be concerned that they'll have a COVID test and then get hit with some unexpected bill on top of it? It's unfortunate, but it's surprisingly common. Um, this is something that happens regularly in medical billing and coding is there are charges that are thrown in there that don't belong or they're charged at a, a higher level than they should be. He says almost all COVID testing should be at no cost. And for any medical bills, it's important to get an itemized statement. Contact 7 reached out to Genesis Labs and their attorney sent this statement saying Cigna initially denied coverage for the respiratory panel, but the lab appealed and Cigna reversed the denial, saying the bill will be paid in full. We also contacted Cigna. In a statement, the insurer says, we will reach out and ensure that all COVID-19 related tests and visits are covered without any customer cost sharing. I'm more concerned not just for myself, but for others. Now, Anna wants to make sure everyone knows what to watch for so she can check that off her list too. I feel better. In Denver, Jacqueline Allen for Contact 7.